So we're gonna do a quick video now on composite functions. Another way of saying a composite function is a function within a function. So it doesn't get asked that often, but it is in all the textbooks and it's not that difficult. So it's something you should definitely cover uh, just in case it does come up. So there's a couple of different ways they write it, the different notations. So for example, they could write g f of x like that, or they could write g of f of x, or they could write g circle f of x okay so there are three different ways of writing the exact same thing so i wanted to show you those in case um so basically if they ask any of these in the exam you, you know what to expect so the best way of seeing what i mean by a composite function or a function within a function is with an example so i'll start with this example here we're going to say that f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 and that g of x is equal to x squared and we want to find out what g of f of x is so basically we need to sub 2x plus 1 because that's f of x into g of x so the way we do that is everywhere there was an x in g of x we're now going to have 2x plus 1 okay and it's basically as simple as that so that's our f of x we sub it into our g of x so 2 of x plus 1 goes wherever there was an x so again, I'll do some more examples, hopefully be more clear. Uh, but every time you need to spot the x in this function and then just sub the other function into it. So I'm not gonna even bother multiplying this out. You can if you want. But once you get to this step, that's the most important one. So I'll do bright blue for the second example. The second example is going to be h of x here is gonna be equal to three cos of x. And then also we're gonna have d of x is going to be equal to e to the power of x and then again they want d of h of x so like i said before does a d of x is the one on the outside so you look for wherever there was an x so here there's e to the x and then you sub in the other function into there so basically our answer is going to be e to the power of 3 cos x yeah so you don't have to plot it you don't have to graph it or anything like that all you need to do is just write it out like that Okay, I'll do one last example and we're gonna look at example three here. Here they're asking us for kind of a weird one, so they're asking us for f squared of x. So what that means is it's actually a composite function of itself. So it's f of f of x. So they, they might ask this just to be a little bit tricky. Uh, it's no different than any, any of the other ones. So our f of x that we're given, f of x, is equal to 3x plus 7 okay so that means if we want to put uh, f of x inside of that so I'm going to say f squared then of x is going to be whatever we did see an x so there's an x here we're going to put the function inside of it so it's actually going to be 3 and then instead of x we're going to have another f of x so 3x plus 7 and that's going to be all plus 7 so we'll just multiply that one out it's going to be 9x plus 21 plus 7 final answer is going to be 9x plus 28 so it's no harder it's just a little bit weirder a little bit different and um, one thing I'll just say I'm just gonna scroll across here to make a little bit of space they could ask you to investigate if uh, they give you two functions f of x and g of x so whichever the functions are they could ask you to investigate if f g of x is equal to g f of x Okay, so generally they're not, uh, but the only way to find out is to sub them in. So if you try with, say, the first example, you'll find that they're, they're not the same thing. So it, dep it does depend which order you do them in, um, but they, they could give you a question in the exam that they are the same thing. So I just want to point that out. So don't immediately assume that they're the same thing. Just you have to test it yourself, basically. So you have to go through each step. Um, yeah, that's all there really is about composite functions. I could give you a hundred other examples, but it'd just be uh, the same old boring examples so I won't bother and um, we'll see you next time we're going to talk about inverse functions so that's another kind of kind of like composite functions another small topic that could come up and um, they actually do quite like asking about inverse functions so look at those in the next video and we'll see you then